change. Cut it out. Cut it out. Constantly, constantly remind yourself that change is not easy, but it's possible. Change is not easy, but it's doable. Change is not easy, but you can do it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to make 2017 the best year yet. Okay, now I know what you're thinking, right? Well, it's February. Why are we only talking about this now? A lot of people have probably had videos about this in December or in January, so Annette, you're late to the game. No, 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 no. Pause. There's a reason for this. First, a lot of people start up the year with a goal in mind. I want to do this, I'm going to do this, this is what I'm going to do, blah, 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 you know the story. And then two weeks down the line, two weeks into the year, they're done. It's just like, oh, like that never happened. They somehow fall off the wagon or they lose enthusiasm, they're no longer motivated. That's what this video is about. Also, there are other people who started up the year not knowing exactly what they wanted to do, but knew that they wanted to do better. They know that they just wanted something better, but they're not sure what it is or how to accomplish it. And that's what this video is about. It's February, right? And you probably had the entire January to start off on the right foot and get inspired and motivated and also fall back and just be tired and defeated. It's understandable, but now in February, we're gonna be talking about how to make 2017 the best year yet. The first thing to do is to get rid of baggage. I'm talking about emotional baggage, physical baggage, professional baggage, relationship baggage, all kinds of baggages. Baggages come in all shapes, kinds, textures. Get rid of it. Like Erica Badu said, don't be a bag lady, don't be a bag man. If stuff happened to you in a professional level last year that you're not happy with, don't bring that in 2017. If you had a failed relationship in 2016 and it got you defeated, that's fine, but use that as an energy propeller to make you more energized. Don't bring the negative energy from that into 2017. If you had a brief career setback in 2016, try not to bring the residual feelings from that into 2017. Things like that are a way of creeping back and exhausting you. They affect your outlook on life, they affect your enthusiasm going forward. If you want to go forward, make sure you don't have anything on your back dragging you backwards. So get rid of baggage, cut it out, cut it out. The second thing I'll tell you to do is to commit to change. If you want to do better, if you want to be better, you have to be committed to changing your patterns or changing your habits. You have to be committed to achieving those goals. You have to be committed to making yourself the best version of yourself yet. Marriage is a commitment. Buying a house is a commitment. Self-improvement is a commitment. Anything you're doing that involves a lot of time, energy, action has to be a commitment. If not, it's just going to fall by the wayside. So think about it, plan, strategize, constantly, constantly remind yourself that change is not easy, but it's possible. Change is not easy, but it's doable. Change is not easy, but you can do it. You can't move to change. You can't seek success and happiness if you're not committed to it. So make sure you understand that being committed is important as far as you doing better in 2017. An important aspect of being committed is being persistent and resilient. Keep going, going and going and going. No matter what obstacles you may face, just keep going and be committed to your hustle. Be committed to your growth. Be committed to your change. Be committed to your goals. This is what I want to do in life and I'm going to do it. That's the outlook you're going to have. If you have that outlook and you get rid of baggage and you have a passion for what it is you're going to do, there's no way you cannot succeed as far as smashing 2017. And then the next thing you should do is invest in yourself. You are your biggest commodity. You are your biggest asset. Invest in yourself. Further your education. Attend seminars. Um, buy, read books. Buy books. Buy membership into clubs and organizations within your field. That way you can meet people. You can expand your network. You can build on your community. You can network within your new network and you can grow. But if you don't take those steps, if you don't actively seek out those opportunities, actively expand your time and money in investing in yourself and in getting those activities done you are not going to be better you're going to be in the same position as you were two years ago or a year and a half ago because you're not learning because you're not growing you're not changing there's nothing different from you then compared to now so an investment in self is key 
there's no way you can smash your goals and be successful at what it is you're trying to achieve if you don't take the time and money to invest in yourself. So make sure you do that. Investment in self is key. And then after you've invested in yourself or while you're investing in yourself, take a step back and evaluate your habits. Evaluate your spending habits and evaluate your savings habits. Evaluate your time habits. Evaluate your reading habits. Evaluate your business habits. Whatever it is that you want to be set out to achieve in 2017, evaluate habits that are related to it. For example, if you want to be more financially savvy in 2017 with your money, then evaluate your spending habits. Try to figure out what the black hole in your savings account is where money just disappears. Ask yourself, am I spending $8 on a daily basis buying an upside down grande mocha frappuccino at Starbucks? Or am I just giving out money to relatives or to people or am I eating out every day? Things like that. Evaluate your spending habits. For example, check your bank account and see, are you spending $8 on an upside down grande caramel macchiato every day? Or are you spending $3 every other day buying a song on iTunes? Things like this add up. And if you don't have a mindset for it, if you don't take the time to look for it and evaluate the patterns, you're just gonna be lost. You're not gonna understand why you're not moving forward. You're not gonna understand why you're easily defeated. Another example, if your goal in 2000 17 is to get fit then try to figure out what it is that makes you not achieve those goals do you say yes to every invitation for happy hour and then when you go for happy hour do you down 75 drinks okay fine I'm exaggerating but do you down five drinks and eat a whole bowl of chicken wings and wonder why when you go home you're tired and you can't work out things like that try to evaluate your habits we all have habits I have bad habits you have bad habits we all have bad habits but what we can do is we can constantly strive to be better we can constantly make changes accordingly and we can constantly strive for perfection we may never get there no one's perfect and that's fine but the beautiful part of it is the journey it's the journey and the hustle towards perfection and towards success that makes life worth living Finally, if you want to make 2017 your best year yet, step out in faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. The most important thing for you to do is to step out in faith in yourself. Believe you can. Know that you can. You are your biggest enemy. You are your biggest critique. You are your biggest obstacle. You can also be your biggest fan. You can also be your biggest proponent. You can also be your biggest miracle worker. You're the only one who knows your life. You're the only one who knows your struggle. You're the only one who knows your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. So take that energy, take that knowledge and put it all together in a nicely wrapped bow and give it to yourself as a gift. The gift of faith in self and carry that with you. And I bet you, if your goal in 2017 is to be more fit, to start a business, to be a better partner, to be a better employee, to read more, to just have a positive outlook in life, I don't know. But if you step out in faith, knowing that that's what you want to do, 2017 is going to be a great year for you. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. I had a great time putting it together for you. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave comments below letting me know what your thoughts are about the video and what your goals for 2017 are and I'll share mine with you and we'll keep working together and having fun while we're doing this. Thanks guys!